DJ Clark. It's day two at the Global Sources Mobile Electronics Expo, and today we're going to be talking about robotics. We have some amazing, fun devices that we're going to be looking at over the next day. Okay, I'm DJ Clark. We're here at the Global Sources Mobile Electronics Expo. I'm here with Homing from robotplayer.com. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about your company, what you're doing. We're talking robotics, right? Yes, we're talking about robotics, and we are specifically talking about robotics for children. And we uh, research and produce and manufacture all these robotic kits, which are very good for school education, for school-age children who want to learn about robotics. For example, we have this set of uh, robotics which can use the computer power and the intelligence of the microprocessor here to study the distribution of the color of this uh, Rubik cube. And then after analyzing it, studying with the color sensor here, it could return it back to uh, its original form. So this is a robot that actually solves the Rubik cube problem. Yes, yes. But it looks like it's very modular. So, so kids actually will build this themselves, will they? Yes, yes. We actually uh, have a basic unit like this. Wow. Where it's a set of assembly or construction toys. Right. Okay. But at the heart of it there's a CPU. There's a there's a microprocessor in here and it can be connected to sensors, actuators and motors such as this. And the students learn how to construct uh, based on the hardware. Yeah. And also learn the programming of uh, set of uh, editing tool, uh, programming codes, and then enter the, the program into this box. And then it will function to uh, direct and program the behavior of the robot. That's amazing. And, and is this something that's just for schools, or, or can people buy it as toys? I mean, is it of affordable? Of course, for, for uh, aspiring parents who want to support the children with the best uh, educational Apparatus, this is actually also for home. And what's the sort of cost of buying a kit like this? The then? basic kit is about 150 US dollars. Okay, so it's quite uh, a This is the, the entry hurdle. A, but of course, this one is more expensive because the, the actual algorithm in here yeah. is developed by a, a Chinese university. Okay. And, and you have some other sort of robot toys? Okay, this type is toys. A, actually a, a humanoid. We call it a dancing robot. Okay. It, caught, it got some kind of intelligence in there. Uh, Similar to a gyroscope. Similar to a gyroscope, which uh, knows about its gravity. So if it's fell down, suppose it should be able to stand up on its own. So some kind of robotic dancing, and the students actually learn to. Uh, learn the programming code to control all this servo motor. They are all together 16 servo motor in this human knot. Okay? And it could dance to different tune, dance to different river. This is amazing. So if you have a, a child who's uh, interested in becoming a robotics engineer, this seems like a great first step for them. Yes, that's exactly what we want, want to promote. Okay, thank you very much.